Hello and welcome to another Pretty Precision session. My name is Frank Whitmer and today we are going to discuss Johnson Controls CCT programming tool uh, and its FC bus connections. And there are going to be, you'll notice, you'll see that there are various ways of being able to do that, whether through a, a, a JACE, in this case an FX80, uh, as a BACnet router or a standard BACnet router or portable BACnet router, or also through a MAP gateway uh, via Wi Fi. So to get started, we first uh, want to talk about connection types. When you're in CCT, this is the screen that comes up when you want to download, upload, commission uh, controllers. And you'll see the types on the left here. Um, what we're going to be working with are going to be typically the BACnet router or the MAP gateway. Uh, there's also, for those that still have the old um, uh, CC, BC, BTCVT Bluetooth adapter, you can use the Bluetooth type. Uh, there's Zigbee if you were doing wireless, direct Ethernet if you're doing BACnet IP controllers. Uh, today we're going to concentrate on BACnet router slash map gateways. And when you choose that, that one, uh, it'll work with the map gateways at version 4.2 or newer. Or also BACnet routers can be used. And uh, that could be a standard BACnet IP to MSTB router, or it could be a supervisory controller, aka a JACE. Um, the JACE basically becomes a BACnet router and it would allow you to be able to access the system remotely. If you have access to your JACE remotely, you just need to be able to add the uh, BACnet port as a port forward to be able to get down into it and we'll go through that as we move along. The uh, connection part, the connection parameters I should say, uh, you have four fields to deal with. You have an address, a UDP port, network number and network interface. The uh, IP address is going to be the address of the interface, whether it's a map gateway or it's a BACnet router or the JACE. The UDP port is going to be your BACnet port that's being used. The default standard port for BACnet is 47808. And there are times that you may need to change that, uh, but just keep in mind, it's going to be whatever your device, your, your interface you're connecting through it's going to be based on its setup as to what to put in here. And then the network number is going to be your MSTP network number, not the BACnet IP uh, network number, but the MSTP network number. And then your network interface will be your connection from your laptop to that device, uh, whether it's a hard Ethernet connection is what I'm showing here, or it could be your Wi-Fi adapter as well. I thought we could go through some examples, the first of which is if we use the map gateway, in the map gateway, if you go underneath the BACnet settings, you will find your IP address of your map, the UDP port, and also your network number. And they're the fields that you're going to take that information and use in CCT. And as you can see here, these are the values. Uh, there is a button that says map gateway. You can click that and it automatically fills in that information. And then your network interface, since this is Wi-Fi, would be your Wi-Fi connection. If you use a BACnet router to do this, you need to be able to get into your BACnet router to uh, find out uh, the settings, uh, what you have for your network number, what you have for your uh, BACnet port, those type of things. So in this case here at the screenshots I have, I have a generic uh, uh, router where the router address is 192.168.1.249. And you'll find that the BACnet port is 47808, which again is default. And then the network number for the MSTP network is 2024. So in CCT, there, there are the values you're going to put in there. Your 192.168.1.249. Your UDP port is the 47808. And the network number for MSTP is 2024. So that's what you would put there. If you have a JACE that you're going to go through, first thing you want to do is make sure your JACE is set up as routing enabled. And there is a slot for that underneath the network settings of your BACnet network. And that's what this property sheet screenshot is showing. Um, and also under there, you need the IP address of the IP port that you're using on your JACE. In this case, it's 1.140. We're using the standard UDP port. The number looks different here because this is a hexadecimal format, which translates to 47808 as a decimal number. So that's what you're going to put in CCT 
before you do a download. Then you want to go under MSTP port and get the network number. In our case here, it's 1000. So we would enter 1000 and then you would enter the network interface that you're using to connect to the JACE. So with that, we'll move over. I'll show you uh, in Niagara what to look for, and then we'll go into CCT as well. Okay, in, C in the uh, workbench, we'll go down to our BACnet network, and we'll take a look there, and we'll go in and go to the property sheet and check the settings. So we know what we need to do within, uh, within CCT. So if we go underneath our BACnet network, we want to go under BACnet.com, and then our network, and if we look in there, there's our IP port, the uh, routing enabled. I want to make sure that's set to true, so you can use the JACE to do this. Under IP port, under the link, you'll find the IP address that you're using for your BACnet. Then you also need to know the, uh, oh, there you go, the uh, UDP port, BAC0, which translates to 47808. And if we look at our MSTP port, it's network number 1000. So the next thing we would do is go into CCT. So being in CCT, we have our application of PCV 1630 is what we have. We are going to go up to transfer, transfer to device. And we want to make sure that we verify that we have our settings correct. We got uh, our IP address is correct, standard uh, UDP port, our network number for the MSTP port on the JACE was 1000, and we're using our Ethernet connection. So from there, we can hit next. And as we wait for it to connect to the JACE, to, you know, as the router, as I was saying, um, it should come up and allow us to do a download. So from here, and again, this could be direct connected to the JACE, or you could be out on the internet, you know, in your home, at your office connecting to a job. If, if you have the ports forwarded, um, you could even do your, your main and boot firmware uh, codes to put in there as well. But in this case here, all we want to do is just do a download. We'll say finish, and it's going to go through and download the application for us. And as I mentioned, the big thing there is that you have the um, UDP port forwarded if you want to do this remotely. And once that's done, you should have no problem connecting and working remotely <clears throat> and gain access to your controllers on the MSTP network uh, with CCT so you can commission or upload, download, or whatever you need to do with your controllers. And with that, um, I want to thank you for your time and also uh, thank you for your business. Until next time, stay safe.